hello 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 happy monday happy monday it's another calm Mon minecraft monday is the sun setting oh i think the sun might be setting uh which i guess means we'll have we'll sleep um but i hope you're having a good monday um i hope you're ready for some excited uh calm modded minecraft although i don't know how much modding we'll actually be doing today considering we're on a great big quest. If you managed to miss my last stream, which was Saturday, then, um, brief overview, we went to the nether. I didn't die as many times as I thought I would. I made a cool new weapon, which is a crossbow, which of course we now have unbreakable, and um, the bolt, which it shoots, which we also have unbreakable, which means we have infinite ammo, which is very cool. Big fan of this new weapon. And then what we did next is I decided to look for a village. Now, you might be wondering, look for a village? Did you find the village? And I have some news for you. So when I was looking for a village, I decided the smartest way to find a village was to just walk in one direction. One singular direction. Should probably come across a village pretty easily. Doesn't sound too difficult. Um... It's been 2,500, 25,000 blocks. We've been walking um, south from our base for 25,000 blocks. We found not a single village, not a single one. And at this point, I don't think villages are real. Now, of course, even in a uh, non-modded Minecraft, um, you're gonna find that some biomes can have villages others can so that reduces your chance of finding a village because you got to be in a biome that has villages and not every one of those biomes will have a village then you throw in modded minecraft where some of the modded biomes have villages but most don't which now reduces your chances of finding a village even more but we found villages in this world in every other direction we found like i don't know i think a total of like four or five villages um, and I just wanted to quickly find a little village because I want to, um, naturally find another waystone and they can spawn in villages. So I thought, you know what, let's quickly go find a village. Can't be that difficult. Just walk in one direction and it'll show up. Uh, and as you can probably tell, um, it hasn't shown up and I'm upset about it. At this point, could I just go home and walk in any other direction to find a village? Yes, at this point I could even craft myself my own waystone. Because I've got the pearls for it, because we've been killing Endermen just on this journey as well. But now I'm determined to find a village in the southern direction, because there's got to be one at some point. And this is now a matter of pride. I have to find one by walking south. Eventually there will be one, I, I believe. There is no other option. So we're kind of both just looking around us in game, also looking a little bit at the map. Seems to be a zombie villager here, but that doesn't help us all that much. But yeah, in all of our uh, southern walking, we've come across one structure and it was like a single house on a hill. It did have two villagers, no waystone though. Um. But yeah, so we're looking at the map for any man-made structures we can see, for any villagers that might pop up. And hopefully if we just keep walking south, any second now we're going to find a village. But yeah, no, I'm convinced that, I don't know, somehow some of the mods maybe are interacting weirdly and deleted all villages. I don't know if it's possible. But I don't know what else is happening. For us to walk so very far and find nothing is a little bit silly. Okay. And loading in all the chunks is just gonna make my computer struggle, so if you do hear that, I do apologize. Not sure if it's a village, but it's something. Now, last stream, we looked for two hours. And did I say, did I not say last stream 
I'm gonna end stream after two hours of looking, because I, I gave myself an endpoint, because I would have looked forever. I'm gonna end stream after two hours of looking. I'm gonna turn on my next stream, walk for maybe 10 meters to find a village. This game? This game. I swear. This game wants me to go crazy. Um, but I guess- I guess I've achieved my goal. This is crazy. Okay, we- we could probably do with a uh, more ender. That's not an ender pearl. That's an emerald. Could do with more emerald, because we do also need those for this crafting recipe. Um... Boy, am I happy to see you, Mr. Butcher. And it's a child. I don't even care if this village has the waystone at this point. I just wanted to find a village to know that they still existed. And I guess they do. Which is good news. I wanna see if I can find like another village in like two minutes. Mm, let's grab some apples. Forgot how I um that's 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 the button. Um, we found a village. They exist. Who would have thought? What do you do? Do orcas maybe give me um apples potentially? Okay, I'll take the sapling, I guess. If I must. This is kind of a cute village though, I will admit. Prairie villages maybe are kind of cute. Do you not have like an entrance? Also, they are just floating. We're gonna ignore that. We're gonna ignore the silly terrain. And we're gonna make an entrance for them. I guess maybe an exit for the cows. Okay, I'll, I'll patch it up. Okay, we've been here. Is that all the houses checked? I think it might be. Uh, one of these just had like coal in a furnace, right? Yeah, okay. Let's cook up a little bit of food while we're here. Um, we found a village. Oh, the village is gonna burn. Maybe. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, this is cool. Oh, these are the uh, flowering orchids. Not orchids. Interesting. Okay, so they do give you apples if you break them. I don't really know if that's worth it. But that is good to know. Oh, this is interesting. I like the uh, design of this biome a lot. Also, this is a cool house. Um, I don't know, very interesting. Boom, boom. We've got a little bit more food now. Probably from killing Enderman. Um, I'm gonna save this waypoint just because then I know I'm not insane and villages do exist. And we're just gonna keep walking. I'm thinking this might have been an orchard village. So now we know that the orchard biome has um, villages. It was either an orchid orchard village or um, a prairie village. But seeing as some of the loot was loot was to do with like orchards and like trees and uh, apples, 
I'm thinking it was an or orchard village. Orchard is a word that my brain does not want to pronounce. I keep wanting to say orchid, like the flower. But that's not quite right. Okay. Maybe we'll find another village in like two minutes and it'll be epic. Although I won't quite uh, last as long on this hunt as the last one because we have found a village now, a singular one. So we'll probably at some point, if we don't find something soon, um, head home. And then we can work on a new project. We can work on a new project. But of course it was like 100 blocks over from where I ended stream, that makes sense. But I did call that that would happen, so... What can I say? I'm just always right. This water is very blue. We've gone through so much food on this this little adventure. Um, our bed. We did it. We found a village. Life is back in balance. We can breathe in peace again. That's loud. Okay, come on, just another village. Just one more. Have this one have a waystone though. That would be preferred. Okay, we've been in this biome before. I'm not and not seen a village, so like you know, hopes are low. But maybe, it's possible. At least we managed to find land again, because uh, last time... This one's quite pretty. Uh, we found that we were just kind of in um, the ocean for a while after a bit. They just gave us like hundreds of blocks of oceans for no reason. Okay. Go this way, because I think this might be a little plains biome. And plains biomes in vanilla are good for villages. So there's hope for us. Okay, we're not really going straight south right now, but we've completed our mission, so I can I can travel a little bit. Find my way. Okay, nothing. Nothing. Boom. I love that that breaks through the blocks so quickly. So very satisfying. Pumpkins. Pumpkins. But yeah, it looks like maybe we'll be doing some uh, more modded Minecraft after all then, if uh, we've solved our issue this quickly. Yeah, all of these need some um, haste thrown on them. Does this count? Okay. Four, three, f five, three, four. No, okay, so it needs to be wood, I see. Well, we know that now. Oh, this is interesting. We've seen a village in one of these biomes as well. Like, right next to our house. That's where the cats are at. That's strange. It's like a little mini, um, other biome. 
Okay, we're in the quagmire. Any villages for us over here? Okay, no villages. That's fine. Just a massive mountain though. Okay, see if we can traverse this. I put my boat away, okay. So this is the Alps. We haven't been here before. Okay. Hopefully we're almost at the top. Oh, look at that. At the top of the Alps. I've done it now. Climb the, the Alps. This is quite cool. I don't think we'll get a village here. Somehow a village in the Alps doesn't really make sense to me. But it is cool to be up here. Much snow. Much snow for us. Struggling to climb this bit, it looks like. Maybe we try a different corner. Don't know why I'm trying to climb this whole mountain right now, but we are. You know what, they should add a, a little waystone up here after you've climbed all the way up the Alps. I don't know, I feel like that's deserved. I will, however, be adding a waypoint here. Um, the top of the Alps. Boom, okay. Yeah, in case you missed it last stream, this is the path we've kind of taken to get where we've gotten. So this is the little village we found. A large ocean that we had to go through. And like, it's large. No real land for a while. And all of this, this is a little cool place. It's the Crystal Canyon. We thought that was pretty cool to find. Here we were hoping for a little village, but nope. Thinking, is this the house we found? Could have been. Oh, more ocean. A really cool mesa biome. More ocean. Quagmire, we were hoping for a village there as well. My mouse is getting tired of this same ocean apparently. Lots of snow, we went through snow for ages. And then um, this is back to our base. So we traveled all that way and found nothing. Now here's the quagmire village next to our house that we found. Then in any other direction, here's a village. Um, this is the mesa. So this would be the village that we found um, the waystone at. Here's a village. So quite literally north, south, Northeast and west all have villages from our base, just south didn't. And that's the one direction we went in. Because of course, it would be the one direction I go in. 
Oh, that's a big drop. Yeah, at this point, let's just drop all the way down. That was fun. Any more villages for us? There is an Enderman. Oh, now he's gone. That is how it goes sometimes. But yeah, like I said, we are quite far from home. So I think our easiest way is to craft this, teleport to our Mesa biome, which, you know, it was 4,000 blocks away and that felt like really far. Uh, currently feels not as far. And then from there we'll um, walk back. Walk back. We're on a cold beach. on earth is that mob? Oh, can't see it. We'll have to- we'll have to see with our own eyes. Maybe. Should I be walking to unidentified mobs? Probably not. But oh well, we're on our way now. It's like right over here. Oh well, I don't think uh, there is anything. Let's keep our eyes peeled for just another village. We probably found the other village at about 26,000. See how long it takes us to find the next one. I have the feeling we've got kind of terrible, terrible odds. Boom. Back in the ocean. It's just so much easier to explore now that I can just go home at any point because I've achieved what I came to achieve. Well, I didn't technically achieve what I came to achieve because I wanted to find a village with a waystone. But seeing how little uh, villages we found, any village was also just fine at this point. At this point, you know, it's on a setting. Watching a little sunset at sea. Epic times. But yeah, I think once we head home, we can maybe um, try and create a waystone. And from then we'll have to see. Uh, I have downloaded the next mod, because if you're if you're new here, you haven't seen this before. Um, uh, yeah, hi, my name is Suffers. Uh, you can just call me Z. And um, I'm trying to learn modded Minecraft, because I enjoy watching it. And I enjoy playing it, but I didn't really know much about it. And I've just been trying different ways of learning modded Minecraft and this is my latest way where I kind of have my own mod pack uh, where I d installed a bunch of uh, quality of life mods that make the game easier to run. So that's things like Optifine, this minimap, things that don't necessarily change much about the game but do make it more um, easier to play with. Okay, it's just a small island. Uh, and then I have one big mod added, which for now is Tinker's Construct, which is where I get all of these uh, weapons from. And then as I learn a mod completely, or like as completely as I deem complete, uh, that's when I download a new mod. And I, I was saying last time we were here that I'm pretty, I felt like Tinker's Construct was pretty, pretty much completed. Like we can make an infinite amount of weapons, but um, you know, we can do that later. I feel like I have like all the bigger bits of it learned and so it's time to throw in a new mod and that's the idea of this once i learn one mod almost completely we throw in a new one and we have that one installed today i was debating on if i was gonna throw it in before today's stream or not because i kind of thought i'd spend two hours looking for a village again um but i threw it in anyway which is good news now because uh we need it so i guess once we head back home you'll be able to, you'll be able to see what that was. I need these chunks to load in. Oh, it doesn't look like there's a village on here. So 
then we'll be able to learn a whole new mod. This is one that I have played with before, but I'm interested to see if I can replicate it another time because this was one of the newer mods that I played with. So it'll be fun. But first we're trying to see if I can just find one more village. Just one more. Boom. Just head south. Just head south. It's all we know. South is the way to go. We're really coming right up to an island. We haven't found any villages in this um, autumnal seasonal forest yet and we've been through a lot of them so I don't have too much hope. You never know. Also looks like there is an enderman over here. Oh disappeared. No more endermen for us. Now he's in the middle of the island. I'm not going to bother tracking him down. We'll just have to keep voting. I forget how cool this, this biome is with like all the cool custom trees. Looks very, very epic. And it makes the sky just very blue. The Weeping Witch Forest. Very nice, very nice indeed. It is easy to get trapped in here though. Lots of big drops and gaps for no reason. Guess that makes sense for this biome. Unfortunate. Witch Hazel. What color do you become? Just very, very cyan. Okay. Go off on our next... next direction. Okay, I'm not gonna let myself look for villages for too much longer because we will just do this for multiple hours and I think it took us about two hours and a bit to find the first village. So you spent two hours looking for it last stream and then we found it kind of near the start of this stream. So I don't know if we, uh, we're wanting to devote that, time, uh, that type of time again. But it's fine. Maybe one will be in this little biome. Looks like a savanna. I don't think it is a savanna. But it is. And I believe we can get savanna villages in uh, normal Minecraft. Okay, I think that might be the end of the savanna. Or it like continues. Okay, it took a break and then it continues. As, as a biome tends to do. Come on, a little savannah village wouldn't hurt us. Just one with a little waystone. Because I think it would be nice if we found like a waystone that we could plant all the way out here. So if we ever do want to travel, you know, 30,000 blocks out, it'll be easier to do so. The Desert Hills. This is a modded biome, I believe, so I don't know the chances of villages over here. Although, do I ever know the chances of villages anywhere at this point? Into the water. What is this? 
Because it looks like just a regular little plains biome, but it's much darker. Shrublands. Okay. You guys have a village for me? Doesn't look like anything. Unfortunate. We'll just cross back over into the desert, I guess. See what the desert has to offer for us. I do believe we can get desert villages, not- I'm not sure about modded desert villages. But regular desert, maybe. It's a possibility. And that would be quite cool. If we could just get a little biome, a little um, a little village right now. Oh, I actually, let me pick up some cactus if I ever need uh, the dye. Just in case. You can replant it at home and all that. All right, we keep going. What are you? Oh, you're kind of cute. There's more of you. Very epic. Little cacti. Lots of rabbits. Okay, we try and maybe stick to the land instead of going back into the water right now. The, the land ends ends anyway, but you know it was worth a shot. I still feel like our odds of finding villages are just at an all-time low, and I think that's ridiculous. But at least we found one. One is better than the zero we had last time. Also, one of these days, want to pick another direction and just see how many villages I can find, how quick. Because I feel like if I pick any other direction, I'm gonna find like ten villages in the time it took me to find this one. Boom. Oh, it looks like maybe a little plains biome. Could be a flower type of biome too, though. The plains could be cool if we could find a village. Plains. This is epic. Lots of cows. Go this way a little bit. Trying to load in as much of the map as possible. But I don't think there is a little village here for us, unfortunately. Looks like this too is the end. Lots of zombie villagers though, hold on, let me um, investigate that for like one second. Where are you at? Oh, didn't mean to do that. Okay, not over here. Just double checking, they're not lost in the caves. I don't know, maybe there is cave, um, cave villages. Everything's possible in the world of modded Minecraft. Do you have any villagers hiding? No, not really. Okay. And where are you at? Maybe it is here. Hmm. Because they're very much on the map, like right over here. There's a 
little cave here. It is interesting. They make awful sounds. Oh, it's night time. Okay. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Maybe there are no villages. All right. Just a little bit further and then we'll probably go go back home. Home. It would be cool if we found another village though, not gonna lie. And if it had like a little waystone or two, maybe three. I do think only one really spawns ever, but you know. Let me let me dream big. Okay. We keep walking. like butter boom epic it is very cool how fast that is at breaking leaves not gonna lie Going and going and going and going. It's just the modded Minecraft. No need to worry about it. I don't see if there's any villages over here. Looks like a little big land. Big landmass for us to explore, maybe, perhaps. A little snowy area. We're really on a beach and we're about to enter like just snow. Love that for me. When traveling in Minecraft, always be prepared for weathers of all sorts. All right. Now this map is messy and it doesn't make it easier for us to see a village, unfortunately. But that's just the way it has to be sometimes. Oh, that was a nice little jump. Just keep jumping. Jumping and jumping. I want to see what the brown biome is before I head into the, the snow. Okay, there's a mountain. I don't really feel like climbing up it right now. That's asking the most. Okay. Just a little bit further. the tops oh we're once again in the alps okay i see that would explain why it's such a tall mountain 
Man, we really traveled 2,500 blocks without seeing a single Alp, and now we've seen two Alps. Although we have almost traveled another 10,000 blocks, so... We're just jumping through the mountains. Nothing wrong with it. Perfect. Just a little jump. Don't know if my chunks just aren't loaded or if it's a drop. Okay, it's a drop. Okay. Back on the solid ground. And a little taiga. I believe there are taiga villages. Maybe. Oh, that was nice. We just managed to jump over that river. That was very nice indeed. And just short there. Sometimes life goes your way and sometimes it just doesn't. It's all good. It's all part of the game. Yeah, when I turn back, I'll probably add a waypoint wherever we end up and just like name it like further south. So I can always like, I don't know, maybe walk my way back there. Maybe teleport, we'll see. We'll see how I feel. Because we've, we've made an effort to get this far, you know? We've probably been traveling for almost three hours by now. So I feel like we should be allowed to travel back here or at least manage to find our way back here. Decently easy enough. You know, after all we've done. After all we've been through. I thought I was crazy. That villages just weren't real. But we found something now. We found the single village that restored all our hope. In all of it. The village to end all villages. Just double checking. Yeah, okay, nothing really. Nothing really. All right, there's got to be some land somewhere. Somewhere soon. We just missed that island. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. No need to readjust our course. But yeah, some of these islands have really cool um, terrain structure. Like they have all these little like, um, like alco clothes and stuff. I think it's quite cool. Quite cool. So close, but yet so far. We're really going the long way around right now. But yeah, I think we'll head back, uh, head back home soon and we'll get to see all of our our base and all of our animal friends and everything will be a-ok -okay again we just keep swimming just keep traveling just just a little longer I don't believe we've seen any villages in these biomes either. But we can just scoop around the island a little bit. This looks like a bigger island though. Ooh, the flower one, we also haven't seen any um 
anything in it. But we'll have a look. We'll have a little look. Just a little one. See what we can find. These are always quite fun to be in because I don't know, the like really large flowers just always look nice. We have one of these like right next to our base though. I think we head to the prairie. I feel like that's probably has the highest chance of um, spawning in a village for us. Just a little prairie exploration. In the daytime when we have the light. I love it when the game just kind of, you know, does that. And I sleep through the night in like half a second. I'm not gonna complain not gonna complain might not be a village but it sure is a house did you guys happen to have a warp stone for me knock knock you also have a little child what is it with all these like villages like single houses always having a child compass don't really have any exciting gifts for me, I'll be honest. I'll be honest with you. Not the most exciting of gifts. Okay, you know what? That might be a good place to kind of um, park our exploring. Right next to the, the ravine. Man, you're living dangerously out here. Okay. Let me make a quick little furnace. Not a furnace, crafting table. Okay. Furthest be farthest I think it technically would be farthest you know what most south boom just a quick little warp stone Recipe book. Warp stone. Um, but what we will actually probably be making is a little waste stone eventually. Boom. Boom. Okay. Food stuff. And then what we can do with this, I've never actually tried this before. We can travel to anywhere we have a waypoint set up, which currently is only our mesa biome. But this I believe is, the, is closer to our house and then it has like a three minute cooldown. Um, actually 300 seconds. What is that? Yeah, five minute cooldown, maybe. mind if I do but yeah not the cheapest cheapest thing to craft you know only 2,000 blocks from home and that's the that's the waypoint so that's what we were kind of looking for um, and then we can use these to travel as well I guess we'll have to craft one though 
because uh, we ain't gonna find one. Maybe we travel a little bit differently. You know, maybe find something cool along the way home, like another, another village. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't complain. Just a little one though. Seeing as we found one in a quagmire, maybe. Maybe it was like a destroyed one though, but it could be there. I do believe we're going further from home right now, but it's fine. It's fine. What's a couple of thousand blocks compared to the tens of thousands of blocks I would have had to travel otherwise. Okay, we'll go home. We'll go home. We found a village, a singular one. It was epic. See if we can kind of like boat through this a little bit. Okay, maybe we board over there at the edge of the quagmire. It's always so awful under the water there because you really you really can't see anything. I I told you we'd find a village in like two seconds if we traveled back home. This also has like a warp a waystone. I will be so very happy. Good morning. Don't mind me. Good morning. Guess I'll take your potatoes if I must. I quite like that the villages are kind of um, in circles in this mod pack. It's interesting. Oh, you were hiding. Don't worry about me. Not here to cause any problems. Just here to look around, see what I can find. Oh, I'm hungry. I was wondering why was I going so slow? Perfect, exactly what we needed. Another emerald. Good morning. They do love their baked potatoes around here. Oh, your door fell. That's unfortunate. But yeah, no, no waystone, looks like. Which sure is unfortunate for them. And for me. Hello, hello. We, um, you remember when uh, I was looking for a village? And then I said, I'm gonna end stream. And next time I stream, I'm gonna look for two minutes and find a village. I found a village in like two minutes. And then I came back home and found another village in like two minutes on the way home. It's epic. Um, villages are just my arch nemesis right now. Just a little bit. But it's fine, we're nearly home, and then we can forget all about this whole mess. And we found another emerald in a chest, so now we can make like two, two warp stones, I guess. I guess, if we must. Oop, that was a good jump, I guess. We're gonna head back home and then um, 
we'll be uh, playing with a new a new mod. Well, it's a mod we've played with before, but it's a one that's new that I added for today. So that'll be exciting. And I believe it'll help me in wake making more waystones in the future. As long as I can find a reliable way to get emeralds, maybe. But I probably could just trade for them. So that shouldn't be too difficult. Almost home after probably three hours of adventuring. We're almost home. Just a quick little trip turned into three whole hours of adventuring. What can I say? I'm dedicated to the craft. Uh, let's have a look at this village. I believe this is the one we found our um, original waystone in. Nope, oh, that's the wrong way. That's just up. This way? Okay. Let's see if this is the one we found our first uh, little warp stone in. Yep, it was. It was standing right here. This is all I was looking for in all my adventures. Just another one of these. Just another one of these. But no. No, that's that's too much to ask for, of course. Oh, you don't have a bed. You don't have a bed. One of you better have a bed. What's up with this village and just not having beds? I mean, I have my own bed, but you know. I feel like villages are meant to have beds. So close, so close to home. I almost recognize these lands, almost. But yeah, I think we ended up traveling about 33,000 blocks out before we found a village. Which is wild. Absolutely crazy. But at least we know that now, like, villages do actually exist. For a second I really was thinking maybe something had gone wrong with some of the mods interacting and we just have no villages ever again. It's possible. Oh, that was a terrible jump. Don't mind that one, I guess. That also probably wasn't the best. Was not the best so close. I can see it. Home. Our unfinished base. That is gonna remain unfinished. Alright, well we're back. We made it. We have a warp stone. We can craft another one and make a waystone if we wanted to. Let's maybe um, clear our inventory a little bit. Of course, just none of the things, none of the chests are the ones I'm looking for. All right, what more can we uh, throw out of here? What have I been doing with my dirt? I feel like I should have a dirt chest as well. Oh well. 
Um, wood. Well, we keep wood, I guess. Mm, what else do we maybe maybe not need? Go in here, I guess. Oh, this is kind of our like going on an adventure kit. can go in our backpack actually backpack boom make another one of these actually I'll leave that for now we can make one later if we really really want to So I feel like leads might be useful to just have in here. Boom. Boom. What was I doing with my feathers? They were going in this chest. Boom, okay. Flower, good for dye, and this one's probably useful eventually. Okay, we're a little bit more organized. Then let's have a look if the new mod was installed successfully. There we are. So, the mod that I decided to explore second is mob grinding utils, which is excellent for creating a mob farm. Um, and essentially how it works is you create a room that's dark so that mobs spawn, of course, then on the walls and ceilings, you'll place fans that push the mobs into one corner in which I place a mob masher, which kind of just like kills the mobs for me. You use an absorption hopper to um, pick up all the, dr the things it drops and then like, um, I don't know, move it into a chest. Uh, and these are all upgrades for the fans, for the mob masher. And with this, we can make it so that Enderman can't teleport away. Yes, that is the project we'll be working on next. Actually, let's have a look at if I have any cool waypoints um, for a little mob spawner. Okay, one that isn't too far away. Not really. Okay. Let's think. Where would we want this to be? So our ender port, not our ender portal, or our, our nether portal is over here. I mean, I should be building, bring some building blocks with me if we're gonna be honest. Let's see. We could do it out of a fun wood. We haven't really played around with the woods yet. Maybe do some of this. Sure, why not, I think, okay. probably come back here to like grab our materials and everything but let's see where we want to build this little mob farm this little mob farm of ours i think it could be really cool if we go back to the first village we ever found which is over there in the quagmire and we build it like under there because it's like a destroyed village right so it would kind of make sense that the village was like destroyed by these mobs or something. I don't know, I think we could do that. That could be pretty fun. Let's try it out. And it'll be interesting. Actually, I don't even know if mobs can spawn here. Um. That might be a good little little quick research. Hold on. 
Um, um, let's have a look. Passive mobs do not spawn. So I think we should be fine to build it here. In theory, but I guess we will wait just for like one night cycle to be double sure. Okay. But I think we should be okay. Alrighty, let's wait for um, night to fall. Yeah, this was the uh, the first village I believe we found. Of course, no um, no warp stone here either. But I like the look of this village. I think it's funny. So I think maybe we build like to the front of the village. I don't know, this tree's pretty cool. I feel like this could be like a cool little area just to build it. Cause I mean, why not, right? Okay. Don't really know if the blue fits the whole vibe. Alright, but we can try it. While we wait for, you know, night to fall. We just built out a little structure. Four, five, okay. Just a little one. Um, I feel like it should be big enough. I'm hoping this works even when it's made out of wood because technically I've done this mod before um, but the rooms have always been stone. I don't see why wood wouldn't work but who knows, who knows. These are nicely textured blocks. Oh yeah, I guess we can just put a torch maybe in our offhand for now. Um, let me place one here just because we don't really want mobs to be spawning right now. we'll need a couple more blocks you know this blue is starting to grow on me oh we're like a couple blocks short okay 
strangely enough, not a single mob has spawned over here. So I'm thinking we might have to move it to a different biome anyway. Hmm. I don't know, it said no passive mobs, but I don't feel like aggressive mobs are passive mobs. But it is strange that nothing has spawned over here. Oh well, I guess we'll pack up shop and go back home. Pack up shop and go home. We'll have to think of a different little biome to build in. Which, there's enough biomes around here, we should be more than okay to do that. But I do think maybe we, um, we sleep and then try it in the day when I have more light to be working with. Almost home. We haven't even checked on our cows, but they're, you know, they're there. They're living. Any of you got my, uh, my hat? No. Nobody's got my wizard's hat. It might honestly be easier anyway to have it maybe, like, close by. That little peak looks kind of fun. Let's have a look over there. Is it big enough? We could probably work with it. Okay. Don't you guys make like cool little bricks? a little bit of lag. It's fine. Just, you know, clearing, clearing the starting space. like flowers in our builds. They get in the way. Okay, fine. I'll pick you all up then if you're gonna be annoying about it. Okay. Oh, this, this shovel needs haste. This shovel needs haste pretty badly. Can't be taking this long to break dirt. All right. Let me quickly go and pick up some more um, of the blue blocks. Of the blue blocks. Maybe we'll even make like a little path here or something so we can travel easier. Easier. Um, wrong chest. Wrong chest. Right chest. Boom. Just a little bit more. Let's build this. Oh, maybe don't don't throw the blocks out. Don't throw the blocks out quite yet. Okay, this should probably uh, probably do it. Perfect. 
just a little blue box. And I hope my um, shovel and um, axe can be upgraded soon. Oh, one too far. Did I make you four? I did. Uh oh. Oh well. Nothing we can't fix with just a little bit of dirt. All we're doing is making a quick little box. That was obviously not going to work. Perfect. Okay. The floor. We'll just have our planks again because I did, did quite like them. I was considering maybe doing like a mud floor, but I did quite like the planks. So I think we'll keep the planks. Boom. Okay, we place one torch for now. Just because we don't want this to be a mob farm until we uh, we need it to be a mob farm. Boom. I thought we made extra blocks, but I don't think so. Oh, we did. I'll do like a little raised roof. What if we actually make it like a nice roof? I mean, I'm gonna keep it flat for the actual mob farm, but we make it look nice on the outside maybe. Do like a little A little too tall design. Like we'll have to um, rig lights through here and stuff, so that's why it can't like um, all be incorporated into the roof design. I don't know. It could be a nice little aesthetic, aesthetic decision. Just a little one. Boom. Okay. We'll need one more, I believe. I don't really know though. Oh yeah, let me place a light in here as well for now. Perfect. We can add like half slabs and stuff to make this, you know, neater and everything eventually. The roof could use a little bit of work. Let me just see what I can do to make this look less awkward. Okay, for one, we need to bring this design out to the edge. Okay, 
that's going to be change number one. And then I think I'll make this as well. Just so that that is less awkward. And then we'll just quickly boom. Come in and fix all of that. No, I don't know if blue is the right color for this, but we're, we've committed to the blue by now. The blue is just not gonna change. Maybe we leave these two open for like a little window effect. Boom, okay. I'm sure that's a little bit better in the grand scheme of things. Okay, we keep a little door here for now. And then we can actually probably go back to the base and craft some things. Craft some things we'll need for the actual mob farm bit. You know, the build doesn't have to be great. You know, we're testing out new block pallets. I feel like if that was a different color, that could look decent. But what do I know? Okay, first things first, I kind of want some chests. Okay. Couple chests for us. And then let's see what I can craft. Um, maybe throw some building stuff in here for now. First things first, a couple of these. Stone slabs, a little bit of iron, redstone. Okay. We need two, three, three fans preferably. Perfect, okay. We'll need one of these, and this one is a little bit more difficult to craft. Okay. Three of these. Just grab a couple of these. Okay. Perfect. No, because I think these need, so six, seven, eight, eight of these. Seven. Boom, okay. Eight. Okay. Two of these. One and two. And then we should be good to craft this, okay. I'm gonna go play some of this stuff and see what upgrades I need for my fans. I'm gonna delete my roof. Just a warning. The roof's about to go. I'd like to keep that, please. Just the roof is just not, not it. I mean, maybe... Okay, it might ruin everything. 
but it's the quickest way. The quickest way. I think this is gonna be better. That way it's just a strange blue box. Uh, I think we'll probably end up doing this corner. Boom, okay. And then we'll do over here and over here, two, two. Boom, okay, um, show the area. Okay, you do reach the end. Show area. You also reach the end, so neither of you need um, length extenders. Okay, I think this one's also fine. You do need width extenders though. Let's see how it goes. Let's see if we can figure this all out. Okay. Um, boom. Feathers. Of course it's feathers. Time to go hunt for some chickens. At this point we might as well grab a chicken farm. The amount of times we're hunting for feathers. Okay, we need feathers for this. Um. Oh, we'll need this as well. So we'll need a couple of feathers. Yeah, I don't think we need to set up a whole farm. I think that'll take longer. I think we just hunt for chickens and call it a day. You've got luck on you, right? Yeah, okay. Chickens. Any chickens for me? We'll find them. I'm looking at the map. If you're wondering like what directions I'm walking in, I'm looking for the little chicken on the map. And then I'm walking towards it. Boom, okay. Couple feathers. There was a chicken over here. Okay, the chicken's further this way. Chicken. Perfect. Okay, I think that's kind of mainly all the chickens in that area. But we still do not have enough feathers, so I think we'll want to be looking for some more feathers. For some more chickens. I feel like there was a time and place where there were a lot of chickens surrounding us, but I don't remember when or where. You know what, that doesn't look half bad. It could be- it could be worse. So many sheep, but I just want a chicken. Okay, there don't look to be any chickens chilling in this forest. Because why would there be chickens when I need them? No, I'll just- I'll just head back home then, I guess. No chickens for us. We got a couple of feathers, I know that. Chickens. Any 
chickens. No chickens. What good is a um, cow farm when you need chickens? Oh, there's usually a couple chickens like just on the water over here for some reason. Like right here. That's crazy. Boom. Chickens? I love the hopeful music playing while I think I found like 20 chickens. Just what I needed. Got a whole angel on your head. I think we'll uh, hopefully be able to gather enough enough feathers. It's probably smarter that you are running, yeah. Don't blame you for that one. There's more chickens up here. Okay, I'll pick up these ones first, then we'll go down here, pick these ones up. And then it's probably best that we just head back. I think. Head back home. Don't mind if I do. Oh, there's a couple more. Okay. Because I do think uh, the more feathers, probably the better. Yeah, hopefully we'll have a little working mob farm soon enough and then we can really start gathering our resources. The only thing I really need is ender pearls, but you know, we'll we'll gather all the rest too. Of course we're missing iron. Let me try three for now. We'll see how many we actually need because it's better to make too little than too many of course i mean yeah because we can go and make new ones but otherwise we'll be in real trouble when we suddenly need like we don't have enough to make the other things we need boom okay we'll hide your area for now Okay, so you just need one. So we have made too many. That's fine. Okay, we'll go make... Um, okay, so if that one made it one on either side, we'll need two. So we'll need four of these upgrades of the sideways. And then I believe that will be all we need the feathers for. And then we can start working on the upgrades for our mob masher. Boom. Extra feathers. Boom. Perfect. Hopefully this, this works. Yeah, I think a nice little path over there wouldn't hurt. Yeah, okay, that's exactly what we need. Just a little bit of lag, okay. Perfect. For now, I'll take my torch. Excellent. Oh, this needs a, a lever as well. We'll figure that out in a second. Okay. 
Uh, lever and then updates. Upgrades. It's all coming together. Just a little mob farm. I should have like two... Yeah, there we are. Okay, that's that done. Sharpness, we need swords and golden nuggets. For all of this, we're gonna need um, redstone and golden nuggets, I believe. Yes, okay. So let's... Um, redstone. We'll need a lot more gold, I believe. Okay, I'll do like half of this for now. Okay, first one is swords. Max of three for all of these. No, max of ten. Um, so we need 40 swords. Okay. I can do 40 swords. First we're gonna need... Like 80 sticks. Okay, that should do that. Then we're gonna need a whole lot of iron. Oh, we didn't need 80 sticks, we needed 40 sticks. Um, anyway, we do need 80, 80 iron though. Okay. Boom, boom. Okay. Keep doing this until we get to 10. We're kind of doing it one at a time because our inventory is so full that we can't make more swords. That's fine. It's fine. We're getting it done. And this is why I gather so much iron just early game. Perfect. Okay, so that's 10 of those done. Okay. Luck, we need lapis. Yikes. Yikes, we'll have to go grab more lapis very soon. Let's do some of the easier ones first. Yikes, we also can't do many spiders. We can do eight of those. Eight of those. Okay, let's go throw in what we have right now. And then we need to be gathering more lapis. We'll do fire aspect, we just needed a bit more inventory space. And we'll eventually gather um, some more spider eyes as well, just as this thing is in use, I guess. And beheading really isn't that um, that important for us. I might leave this running for now. Wait, no. We do need to install some lights. So for now it's gonna stay running but open so there's enough light that nothing can spawn. Oh, and we're gonna have to run some redstone. Um, okay. That stone lamp. Glowstone. Boom, okay. Okay, I feel like this should be fine. We need a lever, we'll actually need another one. Okay, let's go figure this out then. 
it's just a little mob farm. Nothing too crazy going on over here. Okay. This is about the middle, I believe. Doesn't really matter. So when the mob farm is not in use, that needs to be on at all times. Okay, now time to figure this guy out. Which we needed... Um, redstone. Something redstone. need for that okay, now we're into modded minecraft that's not what we need okay hmm of course this thing that's confusing me most is just regular minecraft not even modded minecraft uh i needed a repeater or do I need a comparator? Eh, we'll figure it out. I'll make a comparator. I believe either way we kind of needed this whole business. With like a little dust trail. Something like this, maybe. Oh, I like that mod. Don't know which one that was, but I like it. Yeah, I'll figure it out. Um, for now. kind of my approach to everything modded minecraft and redstone apparently just keep plugging till you figure it out okay should probably do maybe i'll make three we'll have a look of course night is falling Okay, that guy's now on, so that worked. Does that work or does that need a comparator? Okay, this is just gonna kill me. One second. Might have to figure out a different way to do that one. I'm just trying to see if it's on. No, okay. So what we might have to do is do one of these. Okay, so now that one's on. Let me maybe um, connect this this way. Oh, please don't kill me. that does nothing. I know better than that. Okay. I 
I also fig need to figure out a way to connect the top fan to this whole um, this whole system. But we'll figure that out eventually. Um, oh, there's a creeper. Not anymore. I guess there just isn't enough light over here. Okay. I need a little bit more redstone. And I want to make another one of these. Oh, didn't mean to make all of that. Unfortunate. Okay. Let's go figure it out. Because we don't want mobs to spawn all over this island. Do we? This has no other choice but to be this. Okay. Or I mean, I'm sure it does have another choice, but I'm just not not at the right level to figure that one out. Boom. Okay. now it is okay so boom now they're all off oh maybe don't jump in there right all off boom okay that last one isn't on Let me move this one like here. Now everything should be on. Yes, okay. So we close this. Actually, we close this, close this. like one wood I do boom boom okay now it should be um should be mob farming but we currently don't have any way for it to actually collect the materials so we need to set that up and quickly, before it'll have all been for nothing. Boom. Okay. Um, head mob, grinding, util. We want an absorption hopper. Of course, I put all of my, all of my wood away. Boom. Boom. Obsidian, okay. Our favorite thing to craft. Is that not how this works? Okay, that was being difficult for no reason. Boom, 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 absorption hopper, done. And I also just immediately want to build um, this guy, which is why I grabbed two of these. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, we'll 
probably need like actual hoppers and stuff to drain out of this hopper. But I haven't done that with hoppers before because I've usually had other mods installed. See, it, it did work. We got a creeper. What if I... Okay. Place this over here. Perfect. Then I have a visual of it. Okay, I thought maybe I could get to it that way. I guess not. Oh. Yeah, that happens. That happens when you stand on it. It's fine, it was bound to happen. Bound to happen indeed. Not the end of the world. But if we had beheading, this would be, have been a good way to um, get my player head. I do hope that zombie isn't coming to attack me. That would be uncalled for. Oh, there you are. Oh, you're a child. Okay. You're also strangely, um, friendly? No. Now why would it be friendly? Um, let me just remove this so that we can see. Okay, the strangest lag happens sometimes. I think we'll have to leave it the way it was. Um, we just kind of have to hope we're not in here too often turning this on and off. Boom, okay. And then I'll place this guy over here. Now Enderman can't teleport away. Would be probably smart to just turn this on. That's not even close to the right block. Okay, lights off. And then we place an absorption hopper right here. Okay, it's picking everything up. Hide area, and then I'm gonna see if I can actually use like regular hoppers for this. Cause I'm not sure. have enough chests oh did we just perfectly work through our iron like what happened there okay I won't question it So 
I don't know if this absorption hopper will let me like move it into a regular hopper. Okay, well the absorption hopper picked up that regular hopper, so okay, yeah, so it works. Good to know. Boom, okay. And now we just wait to see if it'll actually um, spawn mobs and all of that. So for that we need to be 27 blocks away, but it still needs to be rendered. So we'll probably head back home, maybe organize our inventory a little bit, and then we'll head back. Okay, I want a um, chest for dirt. Oh, a little bit of lag. I'll do a chest for my woods. Ooh, we're lagging. We're lagging. Should probably cook our chicken. We've got a we've got a lot of it. I'll keep this for now because we do need uh, to make a little bit more redstone stuff can go in here because we still need the rest of our vein of arthropods upgrade. I think a couple more of these potentially. A lot of luck as well and all of this flint and steel. Let's make our flint and steel. We need 40. Boom. Perfect. Okay. Um, flint and steel. Then we need that one more time. Actually, let me keep you. Ah, uh, you can be my offhand. Um, boom, 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 boom. One, two, three, four, and then we need the last two flint and steels. Perfect. Okay. That, that that's that one ready well I'm gonna have to ruin everything right now that's kind of unfortunate because it's better to just kind of let it be for a little bit instead of like coming in every two minutes and breaking something um, but this is also kind of set up annoyingly I'll be honest so I'll have to reconsider moving it anyway. Because this is like our entrance, right? To this whole thing. Boom. Yeah, so we need- okay, let me write this down. Um, nine times luck. Two times um, the rotten flesh one, and nine times the spider eye. Okay, so that should be easy enough to figure out. Boom. Okay. 
Okay, that probably is better. Hide the area. I think that should probably help a little bit. And now we can also technically just climb up here through this way. Lights are off, all the fans are on. Okay, now we leave it be and we're gonna have to go looking for some um, lapis, mainly. But I also don't really want to unload this area. Um, so let's see what I can do instead. Okay. Why didn't I pick all this coal? Let's maybe farm some of our cows for a little, little bit. Almost a perfect field. Perfect. There we go. Got over a stack. Over a stack. So let's quickly farm some of our cows so we can have some more food ready. goes much smoother. They used to be like three shots, but you know what? I've gotten better at this. Okay. It'll have to do. I'm gonna start leaving this here, maybe. I can throw this in here. Could probably do with like a little bit. Perfect stack. How'd that do it? Okay, and then now that it's nighttime, I wanna try and light up some of the area. Sweet F7. And we find out what areas need light. like around the ba the main base. We're not we're not lighting up the whole world here today. Maybe some of this hill could use a little bit of light. Now that we're traveling this way more, Everything is lagging just a little bit too much. Oh, I see what's gone wrong. And it's gone wrong quite terribly. I do hope that bolt is still somewhere. Because, like, leveling that up is just a little bit of work. 
interesting that I'm just losing everything. So none of these are my unbreaking. No. At least we know we've got extras we can level up. Not in there. Not in there. I honestly worry that when I died... Ah, oh, there it is. Maybe I'd lost it when I died. But we got it. The slowest... The slowest little, um... Refill? I don't know what you would call it when you re-something your bow. Okay, a little bit of light, a little bit of light. A little bit of light never hurt. Boom. Okay, this is a bit better lit up now. No need for both of you there. Cow farm. Could use a little bit extra light. And then I think we're almost almost done lighting up what we're gonna light up tonight, at least. But one torch at a time, we're making this place, you know, spawn proof. One, one torch at a time. Just a little bit of light. Look at all of this already lit up on the map. You can see here how much of the map we have actually lit up. Crazy. Crazy. Might not be the most nice thing to look at, but it does keep us safe. I sure need all the extra help I can with staying safe. We light up some of these edges. Cause it sure would be unfortunate to be fighting mobs while waiting for our mob farm to fight mobs. Okay, it's kinda done nothing. Absorption hopper. I mean it should be in the the radius. Maybe make it one more down. Just to be sure. I'm sure it'll work eventually. We'll just let it be for now. Oh, of course the inside of our house isn't lit up. That would make sense. But we are out of torches now, so I guess it'll have to do. So yeah, now only really I'm waiting to see if the mob farm is working. Because that is kind of uh, the last real project I had for today. But I do want to double check that it is working. And if it isn't, it isn't, you know? 
guess that's just the way it has to be sometimes. Enderman. And he's gone. Wait, it snowed here at some point. Probably while I was gone. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's maybe like stand closer by it. The lamp is off, that's what we want. All the fans are on, that's also what we want. Let's see if it actually does anything though. And I believe it should be fine. Before we moved a bunch of stuff and added in the whole um, system, we did find some um, gunpowder in there, so I guess that worked. But now we're just kind of double checking to see if things spawn in there and if all the hopper system works correctly and everything. For that all to work, we need to see it actually kill some mobs for us. So we're just waiting. Just waiting a little bit. Okay, still nothing. Nothing. I don't hear any mobs in there either, though. Interesting. Interesting. See, there's nothing else really we want to craft from this mod pack. Too bad. Like, maybe we'll do an XP tra uh, tank at some point. Um, but that's not really important for now. Okay, yeah, the rest really too important either i'm almost certain i didn't forget a light because i did take the lights out like a little bit before i did anything else of course i died that would make sense because there was a single torch in the center that i took out like way before this whole thing was finished. And then the only light was from the door, technically. Boom. Um, let's have a look. We know that the absorption hopper works because it's got all our stuff. Yeah, no, there shouldn't be any light from here. Yeah, I can't really turn this off. It's fine. I have to dig up the floor. It's a lot of work. Okay, wait. Let me um, let me double see. All half of my stuff is gone. Okay. On the outside, does that emit light levels? Let's see. I love it when it lags. Oh, okay. I'll put it on the outside. Oh, what did I just remove? Oh, let me re-add re that one. Um, boom. Um, I'm sure that works. There were no mobs in there so it's not like they were spawning and then just got blocked on the way to the machine they just weren't even um spawning interesting i 
boom. Okay, you'll figure it out eventually. Okay, I'll just have to wait on that one. Put it in the center on top of the roof. Okay. All right. Oh, it's gonna take us forever to get this thing. I guess it can just be be here. Um but yeah, other than that there shouldn't be any light in here. It's light level zero. So it should be fine. back in operation I think maybe we should just need some more patience just a little bit more patience okay you and you can be together okay that's a good inventory management You can make chicken feed stuff, yes. In theory. Can't click on it, but I should be able to make it. But I don't really see the use of making one um, spawn egg. I mean, I could place it in like a spawner, of course, and that would be quite epic. Um, With the chicken, with this, and this, you can like make spawn eggs, that's the whole purpose of that. Um, hold on. That's all I know about it. What am I looking for? This one. Um, let's see. They give me the crafting recipe for the chicken feed. Mob slobs and chicken feed items to make mob eggs in survival. That's what they are for. Um, then craft a used mob swap with seeds and a bucket of fluid XP and that's going to give you the chicken feed. You feed a chicken, the chicken feed, something magical happens and the chicken will drop a spawn egg. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then you can click it on a spawner and then have it uh, be that specific spawner, but yeah, that's the purpose of all of that. Yeah. Which we could one day do if we make another, like, mob spawner, but I don't really see the, the point for it here, because this is just using, you know, the darkness to spawn mobs. And not anything else. Okay, the light is off. Our fans are on. Let's give it like five minutes and then we'll check on it. Hopefully, it's grabbing some mobs now because I'm almost certain it should be working. Like, Technically, it it's correct. It's been built correct. Now mobs just have to spawn. But if we have too many mobs spawn somewhere else for some reason, uh, it's not going to spawn more here. So that could be the issue. There's spawn caps, I'm assuming. Um, that could be one of the issues. Extra utilities, specifically for the cursed earth. Okay. 
I'll look into it. Write it down. Sometimes I write these notes about things I should remember, like mods. Or like what I still need to add into the um, the mod master for upgrades, and like just looking at this paper is so funny because it says like two times rotten flesh, nine times spider eyes, extra utilities, cursed earth, and I think that's that's so funny to me. Cursed earth spawns hostile mobs like crazy. Okay, we'll have we'll have a look at it eventually, one day, one day, who knows. Okay, but five minutes. We got a couple more minutes to wait and watch. The sun is setting. Maybe that'll. Actually, I think I'll sleep through the night just because I don't want mobs to be spawning elsewhere, stopping them from spawning over there. And it self spreads in darkness. I see. That's pretty useful. Boom. You know, I was doing really well just not dying today, and then I, it killed me twice in a row. We're just- we're just so good at this. But I think this mob farm is pretty similar to what you could make in vanilla. Because you could, uh, instead of the fans, have it be water. Right? And have it be also a dark room or maybe just a mob spawner. So have it be water that leads to a certain point. And then at that point, instead of it being like this thing that kills the mobs for you, you'll have to hit kill the mobs yourself. Or figure out some other way to do it. I'm sure there's like some other machine you can make in vanilla Minecraft that would auto kill mobs for you. I feel like this is simple enough to also make in vanilla Minecraft. You know what? The blue is also starting to grow on me. You know, it was, it was a risky move just picking blue as our color for no reason, but it's starting to grow on me. It's a little blue box, you know, it looks nice amongst the flowers. And you'd never think there's half a million mobs in there right now, dying. Never, you'd never, you'd never think so. I see. Well, maybe we'll, uh, we'll have to see what else that mod has to offer eventually. But I think we'll also have to look into an energy mod soon and a storage mod, most likely. But I thought this one was quite simple because like this little farm is really the only thing to set up with this. Like there is other stuff you can do, of course, um, like the whole chicken feed. But I think this is kind of the main, the main bit. So I figured it was a simple, quick mod to learn. Okay, let's give it a couple more seconds and we'll check, see if anything spawned. Anything at all. I feel like that was far enough away that mobs should have been spawning. Okay, still nothing. Is this from when I died? Don't hear anything in there. Everything should be all dark. Oh well. Well, let me maybe maybe relog for like half a second and see if it unspawns in other mobs. Maybe that will help. Um, and then go back in and see if um, I don't know. It'll somehow magically fix itself. Sometimes that's just what you gotta try. Gotta try relogging and see if it fixes itself. Let me go kill a creeper. I don't know how far away I can be before it um, unloads the chunks. But I also gotta be kind of far away enough that it still spawns mobs. So it's confusing. Confusing. Hmm. I guess we'll just chop some trees. Just a 
a little bit of tree chop time. We'll have to replant in a second. Maybe the Ruba's just too small. Maybe they don't want to spawn in such a small space. Could that be an issue? Because the first mob farm we built was quite large. And that one works well. And then the next one we built was bigger than this one, but it also was a little bit less effective than our first one. But I feel like it's effective overall. And this one is just not at all effective right now, but maybe it'll work in like 10 minutes for some random reason. Boom. Fast tree decay is also so nice just to have. Yeah, we'll probably end up building like a little pathway over here. Just to have it easier to traverse. To get to the mob farm. chopping all the trees now. Maybe that's a little bit better. We'll replant a bunch of it though. Any mobs? Okay, we've had a creeper. I think we should also be able to see when mobs are in there, technically. So we know it works, just don't know how efficient it is just yet. But I guess we can figure that out later. That's enough replanted trees. Oh, okay. We do still need to get organized. I feel like our stuff is still just kind of in the most random of chests. But you know what? One thing at a time. Yeah, like I said, I think that was kind of the last last thing I had planned for today. Hopefully that starts um, working better and better each day. Uh, we made it back home. We found a village, uh, which was quite nice. Quite nice. Hopefully we find more villages soon. Um, as always, feel free to check out my other socials. Oh, that's all capitals. Uh, when I'm not live, you can probably find something there and feel free to check out the Discord to talk to other lovely people. But also I send out a little notification when I go live on Twitch over there in case, uh, you know, your Twitch notifications aren't turned on or don't really work or they get sent late, anything like that. You should be able to find information there on when I go live as well. Um, hope you enjoyed. Probably be back on Wednesday. We'll be back to some more modded Minecraft. Maybe we'll have a whole new mod by then as well to explore. But I hope you enjoyed. And I guess until next time, have a good couple days. Keep smiling. And hopefully I'll see you again very, very soon. All right. Bye-bye.